In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use HyperTerminal Private Edition or HyperAccess as file transfer software. For this video, I'll be using HyperTerminal, but the process is very much the same for HyperAccess. Once we are connected to the system, we will need to start the file transfer on both ends. On the remote system, this can usually be started by entering a command, selecting a menu option, or pressing a button on the device itself. For this tutorial, I'm connected to a Linux server using the LRZSZ package for Zmodem file transfer. The specific steps you take will depend on the device or system you are connecting to. To send a file to the remote system, first I start the transfer on the receiving system using the RZ command. Note that the Zmodem protocol supports an auto start feature, so this first step is optional if the system you are connecting to supports it. If you are using one of the other file transfer protocols, you will need to start the transfer on the system before sending the file. Once the system is ready to receive, click Transfer, Send File, click the Browse button, and then select your file. Make sure the transfer protocol matches the one the system is using, then click Send. To receive a file from the system, first instruct the remote system to send the file. On my system, I will use the sz file name command to send the file. Once the system starts transmitting, I click Transfer, Receive File, select the folder to receive into, and then click Receive. The same as before, the second step is not required for Zmodem, as both HyperTerminal and HyperAccess support the Zmodem Auto Start feature.